Adam, I want to teach you how to pray. Okay. You need to know that we pray five times a day at certain times. At what times? At dawn, early afternoon, late afternoon, after sunset, and at night. Five times a day? Yes. Okay. How do I do it? First, you must have a clear intention to pray the prayer and then purify yourself for the prayer. How do I purify myself for the prayer? You start with mentioning the name of Allah. Make sure your hands are clean and then wash your mouth and nose three times with clean water. Do not drink the water. Spit the water out and blow it out from your nose. Then wash your face three times with water. Then wash your arms to the elbows three times. Start with the right arm. Make sure you cover the whole elbow on both arms. Wipe over your head from the forehead to the bottom of the back of the head and back to the forehead again. You do that one time. Then wash your feet completely between the toes and up to the ankles three times. Starting with your right foot. Finally, ask Allah to make you of those who repent and of those who are pure. Now you are ready to pray. Okay. How do I pray? I will just tell you the positions today. But next time, I will teach you what to say in each position. Okay. Raise your hands with your palms facing forward like this. I must at least tell you that at the start you should say, Allah is the greatest. Then place your hands on your chest, right over left. What is the next position? Then you bow. What is the next position? Then you go back to the standing position. And what is the next position? Then you prostrate, putting your face on the floor, your nose, forehead, both hands, both knees, and both feet should be touching the floor. Okay, what is the next position? Then you sit and prostrate again. That concludes one unit of prayer, but each prayer has a certain number of units. How many units in the dawn prayer? There are two. Two units of prayer in the dawn prayer. How many units in the early afternoon prayer? Four. And how many units in the late afternoon prayer? Four also. So how many units in the after sunset prayer? Three. And how many units in the night prayer? Four. But whatever number of units you finish, you must turn your head to the right and the left and say, Peace and mercy of Allah be upon you. Oh, hi. I mean, I mean, assalamu alaikum, Ahmed. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Wa rahmatullah. What does that mean? That means, in the mercy of Allah. Oh, you are wishing upon me peace and mercy from Allah? That's right. And I could even add, Wabarakatu. What is Wabarakatu? That is, and the blessings. That's great. I want you to say that to me every time. You can say it to me too, because if you do, Allah will give you at least 30 rewards. 
And also, I'm obligated by Allah to give an equal greeting or a better one to the one who has greeted me. Ali was teaching me how to pray today. That's fantastic. Let me tell you some of the benefits of praying. Okay. Praying purifies you of sin. Really? Yes. The Prophet Muhammad told his companions that it is like a river in front of your house that you bathed in five times a day. The Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, said, Do you think that if there was a river by the gate of one of you and he bathed in it five times each day, that there would remain any filth on him? They said, no filth would stay on him. He said, that is the parable of the five prayers. Allah wipes out the sins with them. Great! Now I will never want to miss any of my prayers. Also, you get the reward of praying 50 prayers from only praying those five prayers a day. I knew praying was beneficial, but now I know it's even more beneficial than I thought. Even the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, mentioned praying as a way of being thankful to Allah. And whenever we are thankful to Allah, Allah increases his gifts and blessings upon us. Well, that makes me want to pray more. Remember, Allah loves what you do consistently, even if it is a little. So don't try to do too much until you can't continue it every day. It is great to do extra prayer because that is how you get closer to Allah. In fact, you are also the closest to Allah when you are prostrating to Allah. But don't overdo it until you cannot keep doing it every day. Okay. Prayer is also the first deed that you would be asked about on the Day of Judgment. So never intentionally stop praying. Prayer is a dividing line between belief and disbelief. Really? Yes. And by the way, I wrote a song about prayer. Can I hear it? I want to hear it too. Okay. That do when you stop the lot. Do 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 that do when you do that do when you that do that do that you 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 do that 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 do do that 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 do that